Quick little update on the Hillbill E Deluxe 2.0. <laughs> um, so I designed a four link for this thing. Um, real beefy, we made it a quarter inch steel. Um, got all the anti-squat lines kind of dialed into this car. Uh, set the ride height on it. I still got to put a pan hard on it and fill it and finish up some of the welds. Everything's mostly tacked together. We do have most of this finished. Um, battery box is ready to go. Motors going to be ready to go yeah, here. Next we'll, get, we'll get that there then next week. Next week, next or, week so. or so. The motor will be ready to get dropped in. We got motor mounts mounted. Last time you guys were with us, we had done motor mounts and we got the cage and you can see the support bars are sticking out of the back of the truck. And now with this recent addition, I think we're ready to actually assemble the truck and get this guy on the road here in the next couple of weeks. Yep, we got all the parts. Um, a couple of small things like shocks are coming in. But now since we have everything together, uh, it's working out really well. Um, this whole entire thing I designed in Fusion 360 and uh, with a lot of uh, help with our friends from Send Cut Send. They got us all these massive parts laser cut, so it's been super easy. It's like Legos when it comes in, it's our, like a rector set. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got all the parts in, everything fit perfectly, tacked it all together, finished welding it, and put it on the truck. It's like, whoa, that actually yeah. worked really, really well. So, you know, this is kind of the new age of designing stuff, using computers and, and all that assisted CAD stuff really makes our jobs a lot easier. I was able to cycle the suspension um, you know, inside the actual CAD program and make sure all our clearances and tolerances were right. Uh, I pulled in all the material that we needed, all the bolts, so I made sure everything cleared, nothing was too long. And when we assembled it, it's like, yeah. whoa, that actually worked. And when we started this, we initially said that you could do an EV conversion with basic tools. And basic tools mean that you need a welder, maybe a tube bender type of things. But with Sin Cut Sin and his design skills, Everything came in ready to tack up on the truck, weld it in place, and like I said, anybody with basic, you know, a basic handyman skills could put this together. Yeah, well, I mean, look at the detail here. I mean, it's all laser cut. I, I don't even have a bandsaw here. We have basic grinders, drills. I mean, what anyone in a garage would have. So this kind of this kind of quality is just really cool, and it, it's neat because now it, it allows me to kind of design anything. And you know they have these really cool facilities of crazy laser cutters that just basically cut anything you want out of any material thickness. So um, yeah. we'll keep you guys updated on the build. Also, uh, we got a quick little announcement. We're going back to Bonneville this year with the little giant. I got a call from Team Vesco last week. They want to push forward and do electric again. Um, last year we ran only about 60% power. So this year we're going to see if we can bump up our record by quite a bit and uh, we'll keep you guys posted on that build that's coming in here pretty soon. So that's going to be very exciting. A lot of late nights. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Another doc. Oh, doc. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, the Mustang is over at, um, at Pete's. Uh, Hot Dog Customs. He has the bodywork pretty much roughed in. It's in its first thick layer of primer. He's blocking the car out. That should be coming back here in, oh gosh, I think about two weeks. Yeah. We're gonna fit the brand new hood. Uh, one of my friends is designing some really nice uh, fiberglass hood with big old louvers on. It's gonna be really trick. Uh, get all that all fit, uh, fitted with ABS fabrication across the street. Al's gonna help us out with that. Once we get the, foot, uh, the hood fitted, we're gonna send it back over to Pete's uh, for final fit and finish. And then he's gonna be able to cut the car down, block everything up, finish sanding it, and get it in the paint booth back to us. Then we put the batteries in, get the thing back on the street, ready for a Holly High Voltage and, July SEMA, 9th. and SEMA and a bunch of other shows yeah. this year. So we got a lot, we got our work cut out for us for the next few months. <sighs> it's going to be, the rest of the year is going to be full throttle. Exhausting, but uh, we're getting there. Thanks again for joining us here at Revolt Garage. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care.